No, that's definitely not it. This, no, that's also not it. Um, here we go. All right, so there are hopefully three straightforward questions. Um, okay, so the most important thing is to establish, find our scale, of course, and then match our information to that. And I just wasted all this time. Okay, so question one. Here's your scale, half of inch, half an inch. I'm gonna put it over here, half an inch. Maybe half an inch equals four feet. So over here, I'm gonna write inches on top, feet at the bottom. Um, I'm gonna set a proportion. So, it's, so it says, if a pole in the drawing measures two and a half inches, so if my drawing, the pole is two and a half inches, how tall is the pole in actual in reality, right? So we cross multiply, so we get half of x. We multiply four times two and a half. You can use decimals here. I would. Four times 2.5. It's much easier to enter in your calculator. I'm going to divide both sides by half. Careful here. So divide by half means to multiply by the reciprocal, right? That's what we're doing. So we're just going to, I'm just going to write times 2 over 1 and then times 2 over 1. So x equals 20. 20 and write the units, so in real life that pole would be 20 feet. 2, again, uh, I have a drawing, and in my drawing the chair is one, every inch of my chair my, it represents 4 inches of the chair in real life. So this I'm going to put D for drawing and R for real life, right? Because they're both the same unit, so we have to distinguish uh, where which one represents what. So, the inches on the top represents the drawing, and the inches on the bottom represents real life. So that's my scale. So the height of the chair is 42 inches. So in real life, the height of the chair is 42 inches. So in my drawing, how many inches would that be? Well, cross multiply again. 4 times x is 4x. 1 times 42 is 42. Divide by 4, divide by 4. And x equals 42 divided by 4 equals 10.5. So the drawing of the chair would be 10 and a half inches. Three, and by now you should be noticing that this is very straightforward. So it's a rocket is 82 feet high. Science project scale model of the rocket. How tall would the model be if the scale is one inch? So again, here's my scale: five feet, um, inches, and feet. So the rocket is 82 feet. So as a model that I'm going to bring to school, cross multiply, you get 5x equals 82, divide both sides by 5, and x equals 82 divided by 5, which is 16.4. So, 16.4 inches. Uh, inches, plural. Okay, so, again, it's all, it's, I mean, literally, it's all these questions, but just making sure you set up the proportion correctly. Five, it's a dollhouse, and in the dollhouse, the, the ratio here is one inch is two and two seventh feet. So the pants of the doll in the dollhouse measures one and two and a half, oops, inches, good. So in real life, how long would those pants be? So cross multiply, one times x is x, and if you have a yellow calculator, which you do, you're gonna get two and two and two seventh times what is that? One and one one and two fifth. One and two fifth. We enter that we get we can simplify that. You're gonna get three and one fifth. So three and one fifth feet. Okay, so that's the length of the pants of the if that was in real life. Real life pants. Um Here, let's scroll down. So six, it's double the work. So drawings always help, right? So here is a drawing. So in my drawing of my house or the house, this I always love that I draw not to scale. So here's my house. Okay. So my house 
in my drawing, this is 9 centimeters and this is 10 centimeters. I have a scale that says 6 centimeters equals 12 feet, so 6 centimeters, here's my square scale 12 feet, but I'm going to simplify that, right, because I can, I can. So instead of writing 6 over 12, I'm going to write 1 over 2. So 1 centimeter in my drawing measures 2 feet in real life. So let me write inches and feet. I want to know what are the actual dimensions. So my real house, of course, right, my real house, it's not 9 centimeters, it's whatever, 20 feet, 30 feet, whatever it is. So I'm going to have to do this twice, one for 9 and one for 10. So I'm going to take that 9. In my drawing, 9, inch, nine inches, 9 centimeters, sorry. All right, in my drawing, uh, 9 centimeters represents how much in real life. So again, cross multiply, we got x equals 18 feet. So in real life, this length of my house is 18 feet. Now I will do that the same, so I'm going to erase this. I take the other dimension of my drawing, which is 10 centimeters, right? So this is 10 centimeters. So 10 centimeters in my drawing, in real life, we cross multiply, we get 20 feet. So the dimensions of my house is 18 feet this way, and 20 feet that way. Um, okay, so next, seven, there's a scale drawing of distance between two cities. Okay, the distance between Salt Lake and Arizona is 21. If each 7 centimeters, okay, so here's my scale. 7 centimeters is equal to 250 km kilometers. So centimeters on top, kilometers at the bottom. So I measure the distance between these two cities on the map, and I get 21 centimeters. So what is the distance in real life? Well, here's my proportion. So x kilometers, right? 7x equals 25 times 21. And you get 525, divide both sides by 7, and x equals, uh, what is it, 75. So I'm pretty sure you could have simplified that. Um, no, you could have not. Sorry. So here's the distance. So 75 km kilometers. So in real life, the distance between Salt Lake City and Arizona is... 75 kilometers. No idea if that's true. In the morning, Sophie's go to the church. In the afternoon, she goes home. The map shows the distance between the school as five centimeters. Every four centimeters. So here's the scale. Four centimeters on on the map equals to eight kilometers in real life. Guys, obviously you can simplify this instead of using four of eight. Just let's use one, one over two. So her home, and again on the other side, centimeters here in kilometers. So on the map, she measured with a ruler, and she got the distance from home to the school is 5 centimeters. So put it on top. Cross multiply, or, you know, just multiply by 5. So we get x equals 10k. Okay. So hopefully you'll have most of this done in your class. Um... Andrew draws scales, his office 6 by 7, the scale drawing is 5 centimeters. So again, this is like the number 6 or 7, that we did number 6. So we have a scale that says 5 centimeters, 10 feet. So instead of 5, I'm going to write 1 centimeter equals 2 feet. But here's his drawing of his office, right? So he, draws, he drew his office, this is 6 centimeters, and this is 7 centimeters, right? So in real life, what are the dimensions of his office? Well, it's not 6 centimeters. Right, so here we have our proportion. So I'm going to write centimeters here and two feet and feet at the bottom. Sorry, I'm going to have to do this twice. So on the drawing, I have that this dimension, this side of his office is six centimeters over x, cross multiplying, and we get 12 feet. So in real life, that side is 12 feet. Now we need to know what seven, seven centimeters equals in real life. Now. Obviously, guys, it's just times 2, but we set the proportion. We're going to put a 7 over here. And x equals, cross multiply, x equals 14. So this side of his office measures 14 feet. Okay. Two. 
10, and as a sales person, uh, person uh, blah, 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 on the map again, the distance between the two cities traveled is 50 centimeters. Here's a scale. What's the actual distance between those two cities? Well, so I'm going to always start with my scale. So my scale says one, 2 centimeters, 4 kilometers, or again, if you simplify, you get 1 centimeter equals 2 kilometers. So centimeters on top, kilometers at the bottom. And we have that on the map. It's 50 centimeters apart. So in real life, what would that be? Cross multiply, we get x equals 100 kilometers. Okay. On the map, particular map shows a scale. One centimeter is five kilometers. Okay. What would the distance in centimeters if the actual distance? So if the actual real distance is 14 kilometers, how many centimeters would that be on the map? Yeah. Okay. So. That's what I don't know in the centimeter. Good change. Multiply, we get 5x equals 14. Divide both sides by 5, and 14 divided by 5 is 2.8. So on, if you actually measure with a ruler, we get 2.8 centimeters. Scale drawing, again, 1 inch, the basketball court. So we have a basketball court, and our scale says 1 inch equals 9 feet. The basketball court, okay, so again, one of those problems. So in our drawing, actually, in real life, the basketball court is 94 feet this way. And okay, 94 feet this way, okay, and 50 feet up. That's in real life. Now, that's not going to fit in my notebook, so... I need to inches and feet, right? Using that scale, this scale right here. So if I wanted to draw the basketball court in my notebook, what would be the dimensions using this scale? So let's start with the length here. So in real life, it's 94 feet. So in my drawing, my notebook, how many inches would that represent? I get 9x equals 94. Divide both sides by 9, and x divided by 9, divided by 9. 94 divided 94 divided by 9 it would be and I'm gonna round this to 10.4 so 10.4 inches okay 10.4 inches now I need to get this right the line right so the width so the width in real life is 50 feet so in my drawing what would that be cross multiply 9x equals 50, divide by 9, divide by 9, x equals 50 divided by 9 is 50 divided by 9 is 5.5555. We're going to round it and call it 5.6. So this would be 5.56, right? So in my notebook, it would be 10.4 inches and 5.56 inches going down. Okay, so 12, no, 12, 13. Let me just bring the screen up. The 13, a scale of basketball court again. Now we just did that. No, we didn't. So again, the basketball court, one inch equals nine feet. Okay, the free throw line is 15 feet from the backboard. How far is the free line from the backboard in the drawing? So if I did a drawing of the basketball court, um, so, in real life, it's 15 feet, so I need to know how many inches. So this is my unknown. Cross multiply. 9x equals 15. Divide both sides by 9. x equals 15 divided by 9. 1.6. 6, 7. Or if you left it as a fraction, which is probably the better one, um, if, let's simplify those. So if you left it as a fraction, which is 15 over 9, you get 5 over 3. And you can change that to one and two thirds inches. Okay, so that's the distance from the backboard to the free throw line. Okay. Fourteen. Here's a at the right scale. At the right is a scale of a carpenter ant. Mm -hmm. Scale of the drawing is one centimeter equals two point five millimeters. Okay. The actual length of the ant's head, thorax, and abdomen. 
Round your answer to the nearest hundred. Find the actual length. Oh, okay. So here's my scale. One centimeter equals 2.5 millimeters. Okay, so over here, centimeters, millimeters. Let's find what do you call Find the length uh, the ant's head. The ant's head measures one centimeter. Okay. So I'll put it over here and I wonder if okay, so hang on a second, I'm trying to figure out if the at the right the scale drawing of a carpenter's end. Okay, so uh, the scale drawing is one centimeter is 2.5 millimeters. So in the picture, the head is one centimeter. So cross multiply, x equals 2.5. So in actuality, the head of an ant is 2.5 millimeters. Now repeat the process. The thorax, according to this picture, is that, right? It's that middle part. So it's one all the way to 2.5. Or 2.3, so it's 1.3 centimeters, right? So that's one centimeter over here plus 0.3, so 1.3 centimeters. So his thorax is 1.3 times 2.5, and we get 3.25 millimeters. Okay, and lastly, we need the abdomen. Okay. The ad, let's measure the abdomen. And the abdomen goes, ugh. so let's go backwards. Let's start here and measure this way. So from four to three is one centimeter. Three to this little line is a half, so it's 1.5, 1.6, 1.7 centimeters. So in the picture, the abdomen is 1.7 centimeters. Cross multiply, and in real life, the carpenter's abdomen is measured 2.8 times 2.5. 4.25 millimeters, millimeters. Okay. Tiny ant. The scale of the picture is half equals three centimeters, half an inch equals three centimeters. Find the actual length of the coffee mug. So in this picture, so well, well, first we start with our scale. So half an inch is three centimeters. Okay, so in the picture, inches on top, centimeters at the bottom. On the picture, the length of the coffee mug here is four inches. So in real life, how many centimeters would be? Would it be? So half of x equals twelve. Divide both sides by half, or multiply by the reciprocal two over one, and x equals twenty-four centimeters. In real life. Measure 24 centimeters, which is close, well, sort of close to a full ruler, right? Remember, a ruler, most rulers have measure about 30 centimeters. Sixteen. Then driving to Mount Shasta on her map. It's seven and three fourth miles away. The scale is half an inch equals 50 miles. How many more miles? Uh, how many more miles does Merritt have to drive? Okay, so on her map is seven and three fourth miles away. The scale of her map is one half an inch equals fifty miles. How many more miles? So I think that should have said inches. Okay, seven. That should have said inches. So half an inch. 50 miles. So if on her map is seven and three fourth inches, how many miles is it actually in real life? Cross multiply, we get a half of x, and we gotta multiply 50 times seven and three fourths, so 50 times 7.75, which is 387.5, and then we're gonna multiply or divide both sides by half. Be careful how you do this, how you answer that in your calculator. So I much rather you multiply by the reciprocal which is 2 over 1 
and multiply it by 2 over 1. So that's probably the easiest. And you get 775 miles. So she's 70, 775 miles away. So um, that was a mistake there. 16. Chad built a scale model of a statue. Okay, he built a model 7 inches tall. So 7 inches in his model represents 15 feet in actual height. What question represents the relationship between the actual what equal <laughs> What equation equation would represent the relationship between the actual height, okay, which is this x, so they're calling x the actual height, and uh, uh, and the height of the model y, right? So they stop, they they told us what uh, what do you call the independent and dependent, right? Right. So we can do find the uh, find the uh, sorry guys. Find the constant proportionality, so we're going to do 7 over 15, which we already had, and the equation would be y equals 7 over 15 x. Okay. A map has a scale of 2 centimeters equals 75 miles. I don't know why they do that. So instead of 2 centimeters equals 75, I'm, well, let me just write it up. 75 miles. Now let's just keep it. If you want to, what do you call Simplify it, okay, to one, and uh, what do you call seventy-five? Not seventy-five. One and thirty-seven and a half. You may. So, but if you want to keep it like this, I'll keep it like this. So, uh, centimeters on top, miles at the bottom. So that's your scale. So if you measure the distance and it's eleven centimeters on your ruler, how far is it in real life? So cross multiply. We got two x over here. Seventy-five times eleven is some number eight twenty-five. And divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 412.15, 412.5. 19, oh, sorry, 19. The floor, blah, 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 so the, uh, the floor plan of a, of a house was drawn, okay, so Somebody drew a house, and they said that we're going to use this scale. Okay, three centimeter is is to four and a half meters. Every three centimeters, if three centimeters on the drawing is equal to four and a half meters. So find the actual length of the living room if it's five centimeters on the drawing. So centimeters and meters at the bottom. So we're saying that in the drawing it's five centimeters. So in real life, let's figure out what that is. So cross multiply, we got 3x and 4.5 and times 5. Okay, it's 22.5. So we're going to divide both sides by 3. And x equals 7.5. Okay, so 7.5, let me write the units, meters. Okay. Again, we got another, uh, what do you call, uh, house plan. Two thirds of an inch, not a full inch. Is equal to eight feet. What is the length of the basement if it's two and a half? So if you measure the basement in your drawing, well, let me first write inches on top, feet at the bottom. So in your drawing, the basement is two and a half feet in length. So what is it in real life? Well, two thirds X equals eight times 2.5, and that's 20. Right, so we've got to divide both sides by two thirds, which is the same thing as multiplying by three over two. Right, so we get x equals uh, what, call, what is this? Thirty, thirty feet. Last but not least, the last one on the blueprint, the master bedroom has. Okay, so again, one of those. So let's draw. This is four inches. This is five and a half in my drawing inches. Okay, the bedroom in my drawing measures that. If the scale is three fourths of an inch, so every three fourths of my picture represents three feet in real life. What are the dimensions of the bedroom? Well, so again, this one is one of those where I have to do it twice to work. First, I got I got to figure out what four inches is. So let's start with this one. So four inches in real life. So let's say my real bedroom here. So four inches over here, I'll put it over here. 
so four inches in my drawing measures how much so cross multiply we got three fourths x equals 12 then we got multiply both sides by the reciprocal which is four thirds times four third x equals uh, 4 16 so in real life this side of my bedroom is 16 feet now I'm gonna repeat the process but instead of 4 now I need to find this the width of my bedroom which is in this case five and a half again cross multiply we get 3 fourth x equals and three times five and a half equals 16.5 and then I'm going to multiply again both sides by the reciprocal, which is 4 thirds. So if you have a calculator, you can just write 16 and a half divided by 3 fourths, which you do have a calculator. So, um, and this is actually 16.5 so divided by 0 0.75 is 22. So in real life, the width of my bedroom measures 22. Okay, we're done.